Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Penpa Plus. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how one can use this Penpa tool to generate output file for GM puzzle submissions. Now, many of you might already know uh, what GM puzzles is, some may not. Here is a brief description. It's a puzzle block where uh, handcrafted logic puzzles are published from well world class puzzle de designers. They have they post one puzzle per day. They also post e uh, books uh, and which you can buy and lots of many other things which you can check out. I'll post the GM Puzzles website uh, link under in the description of this video. That is uh, from a solver's perspective. But if you are an author and want to contribute your puzzles to GM uh, Puzzles blog, they have, uh, and this is the GM Puzzles blog or Art of Puzzles, they have the submission guidelines where they want your submission to be in a particular format uh, of a text file which kind of helps them to easily render output images and blog posts and many other things. Now, sometimes manually typing this uh, input format can be time consuming. So I have prepared this or added this functionality to this Panpa tool to generate that output file for you if you design the puzzle on the penpa site for example i will show uh, the full process using this classic sudoku example and then show you where you can check instructions for rest of the remaining puzzle types they accept so let's get started for classic sudoku as you can see there is this author, genre, variation theme, and then the size. Then you have this um, description of the regions, which in our case is three cross three blocks. Then the uh, given digits information. And then finally, the uh, solution. So again, th this may be quick to type in using either notepad or some text editor but uh, if you have puzzles of big size let's say 20 cross 20 loop puzzles and things like that this might come in very handy and i have received a great feedback already that it has saved lots of time for many of the authors and they use it regularly and i realized that i haven't made a tutorial on this so far so here it goes and hopefully it helps to all the new users who are using the spend part for the first time or you may not be aware of this feature and start using it now uh, uh, i guess hope i hope it helps um, all of you in the puzzle community so to begin with so let's say i want to do this classic sudoku and want to um, you know submit to gm puzzles i'll use this example itself what they have uh, shared here right so i'll just move this aside move to penpa site here new grid since it's a sudoku i'll generate the sudoku board type new grid yes reset it then you see there are two sections here problem and solution so as it says, you should enter your given digits here in the problem and then your solution in the solution tab. So first, while in the problem, I start putting my uh, given digits quickly here. And then five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm then inputting my given digits and then I go to solution tab and 
uh, switch to again number or sudoku mode whichever you prefer and make sure you enter the solution in either blue or green or red digits to distinguish it from uh, the given digits so it defaults to blue so i will leave it as it is now either i can type in um, all the digits here one by one or uh, there is another vi video where i have covered this feature input output sudoku which is a faster way to input the digits um, you can check that out but for now i'll just quickly use this and type in all the digits for the solution i do and it is okay sorry for the pause and now i have type just make copy it in case if i missed any digit and then everything else default because it's uh, that's the size and import and you can see all the solution digits have imported so just to quick recap i selected sudoku board gave put my given digits in problem mode entered my solution in solution tab now here is where uh, how you can generate the output file so you go to share url with answer check slash extra options in this you see this uh, button puzzle output file and in the header uh, since this is a classic sudoku so i can type as it says classic sudoku or shortcut short form cs and then click on gm puzzle output button and what it does is if you see it has generated that um, text file here everything here you know you can see this and then you just uh, name your file whatever you want and download and it will download this text file with all that uh, format which uh, they have specified and same same can be done for any puzzle type they support uh, at least the ones which they have specified in the uh, guidelines and for any specific variant or uh, you know new type you can reach out to them and ask what is their preferred uh, format and you can still utilize this feature for example let's say if you have a, a hybrid puzzle uh, which contains sudoku and let's say uh, shading right so you can uh, what you can do is you can here uh, first use that number type any similar style and generate the output save it in an edit, uh, text file and then use the another style header here like shading one and again generate the output and then manually combine it it still saves a lot of your time and especially if your puzzle size is pretty big now i have told all this instruction but you don't have to remember any of this because i have defined i have clearly stated everything in the penpal readme guideline which you can access through here i information button tool instructions and in the tool instructions if you go uh, or search gm puzzles then you can see um, this here right there is that gm puzzle formatting guideline at the same time there is this list of currently supported puzzle types in penpa i would highly recommend please follow these guidelines uh, for the function to generate a correct correct output file and as you can see those instructions for classic sudoku cs or classic sudoku these are the header names which you type in that header area and just a quick here glance is how to use it it's again exactly what i just showed in this video but uh, it's written down here if you want to take your time 
to follow through this guidelines and let me know if you like this feature and if you find uh, any issues where your output file is not as intended please uh, reach out to me at penpaplus at gmail.com or post an issue in this github of penpa or you can comment on this video below i'll try to respond as early as possible Finally, please do like this video and subscribe this channel to stay tuned with all the latest updates with Penpa Plus. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy this uh, small sweet feature. Thank you.